here in the UK, our ponds are packed with watery wildlife, from tiny tadpoles to nimble newts. But there is one giant invader that overshadows them all. In fact, this voracious visitor is threatening our native species from thriving. Now, that certainly sounds like a nightmare to me. As its name suggests, the North American bullfrog would be far more at home in America. But populations started to pop up in the UK when they arrived in the country hidden amongst shipments of plants imported for garden ponds. The question is, how can an innocent amphibian be causing such a nightmare? I'm teaming up with Jonathan Cranfield, who's been keeping a beady eye on the bullfrog boom. Right, John, what are we dealing with here then? Well, to put things in perspective, I've, I've brought along an example of a common frog. Ah, you're cute. Hello. OK, so he's quite little. He's quite cute. And are there any similarities between our common frog and the North American bullfrog? Well, basically, they, they are both frogs. And yeah. this little guy is quite slimy and can jump just like a North American bullfrog. Webbed well, feet. W very much webbed feet. And you can hear croaking. croaking there. <laughs> but also they hunt in a similar way. You know, they, they sit and wait and they leap out at flies and other insects and things. But obviously at a much, much smaller scale. Yeah, the similarities end about there. So is this our biggest frog? So this this is our you know largest native frog. Um, they can get a bit bigger than this, but the, the one that we're looking for is probably four to five times bigger than that. A bit more. Four to five times bigger than that? OK, let's put him back. What's the best way of finding one of these mega frogs? Well, we need to get into that pond over there. OK. <laughs> and you're going to need a pair of these. Ah, oh, waders. Fabulous. So how easy are these bullfrogs going to be to find? Well, sometimes of the year you actually manage to hear them before you can see them. Is it quite a loud call? It's uh, a very deep, resonating call, mm -hmm. which is very much like a cow or a bull. Hence the name. Hence the name. And I've got an example here. You do. Let's have a listen. Oh, yeah, it does sound like a cow. Cross with a sheep barring. That's cool. OK, so we might hear that. That might give it away. Right, what's my method then? I'm basically disturbing the silt. So you just run it along the bottom. Yep. Scoop it out and see what you've caught in your net. That's right. And if these bullfrogs are making this pond their home, it's crucial we find them. These are one of the worst alien animal invaders in the world. Growing up to 20 centimetres in length, they dwarf any of our own pond residents and eat pretty much anything that fits in their mammoth mouths. As if all of that wasn't bad enough, these astronomical amphibians have the ability to take over their territory. How many babies can they have? A native frog, uh, they produce about 3,000 eggs. Mm -hmm. uh, a female bullfrog, she lays 20,000 eggs. <gasps> 20,000? 20, 20,000. So if they all grew up... Into they could, adults? Yeah, it only takes us two frogs, 20,000 tadpoles. Big but, problems on our hands. Yeah. In light of that, we need to find a bullfrog then, because I have no idea what one looks like. And we need to be on our guard and keep an eye out for this frog. Got a good feeling about this, really. Good okay. We've done that. <laughs> ah! Any joy, John? Not yet. No. Should we try another pond? Certainly can. Well, what's the best way to get into this one, do you think? Uh, use your net care carefully. Ease yourself in. OK. <laughs> getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> and I'm still going down. Oh, no. That is huge. I can see why that is going to cause a problem for our own smaller wildlife. 
So this is a bullfrog. And you think this is a fully grown female? Fully grown female bullfrog, yeah. It has got really beautiful eyes, hasn't it? It is. It's it's a you know, it's a fantastic animal. It's yeah. really beautiful. It just it's in the it's in the wrong place. If it was in the right place it'd not a problem. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Poor little thing. Well, not little. Poor humongous thing. There's no disputing, this is an incredible animal. But unfortunately, in certain areas, these frogs are breeding. And there could be populations we don't yet know about. Take a good look at that, everyone. This is a bullfrog. So if we see one of these, what should we do? Well, if you ha think you've seen one of these, um, it's important to, to report it, because that's the one problem that we have, is that we don't know where they are. So if you see one, uh, if you can get a photograph of it or a recording, mm -hmm. you can send that in by email to your local wildlife trust or wildlife society that's recording wildlife in your area. That way we can identify where individuals are and what possibly other populations in the UK. Now we've caught this giant girl, it would be illegal for us to return her to the water as these bullfrogs are such an invasive animal. Thankfully, though, she's off to a local zoo to educate others about non-native species. The mention of frogs might not initially fill us with fear, but this giant alien invader is wreaking havoc in our wetlands. By the time they're adults, they're cannibalistic carnivores and they are eating their way through our watery wildlife. So this colossal croaker could well leap straight up onto my nightmare podium.